The closest approach just happened yesterday. And now, less than 24 hours later, NASA has released something incredible. New images captured by the Parker Solar Probe, fresh data from multiple spacecraft, and observations that are already changing what we thought we knew about this interstellar visitor. Let me show you what scientists discovered right after the flyby. Before we dive into these updates, if you're finding this valuable, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. These space events move fast, and I want to make sure you don't miss any breaking developments. A quick like on the video also helps more people discover this content. All right, let's talk about what happened after December 19th's closest approach. This morning, December 19th, NASA dropped something unexpected. Video footage from the Parker Solar Probe showing 3i Atlas moving through space. The spacecraft observed the comet from October 18th through November 5th using its WISPAR instrument, the Wide Field Imager for Solar Probe. During that period, Parker was speeding away from the sun after its 25th solar flyby back in September. The probe captured about 10 images of the comet per day. NASA then compiled those images into a time-lapse video that was released just hours ago. What makes this significant is the timing. Parker's observations happened weeks ago, but NASA chose today, December 19th, the day of closest Earth approach, to share the processed footage with the public. In the video, you can see 3i Atlas moving steadily to the left across the frame. The spacecraft had to roll along its axis to keep the comet in view, which is why North appears at the bottom of the images. These are raw, unprocessed observations. The bright solar corona has been removed, but further processing and calibration will continue over the coming months. During Parker's observation window, the spacecraft was between 172 million and 195 million miles from the comet. That's an enormous distance, but Parker's instruments are designed to operate in extreme conditions near the sun, giving them unique sensitivity. Last night, December 18th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, the Virtual Telescope Project hosted its live stream as planned. Weather had been an issue earlier in the day, but conditions improved enough to allow observations. Dr. Gianluca Massi from the Bellatrix Astronomical Observatory in Italy ran the stream. For two hours, viewers around the world watched 3 eye Atlas moving in real time against the background stars. The comet appeared as a faint, diffuse glow. Even through professional telescopes, it remained a challenging target. But the motion was unmistakable. You could actually see it drifting across the star field at about 148,600 miles per hour. The closest approach occurred at exactly 1.02 a.m. Eastern Time this morning, December 19th, or 6.02 a.m. The distance bottomed out at 269,037,114 kilometers, roughly 167 million miles from Earth. Multiple ground-based observatories coordinated observations during this peak window. Telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, Italy, Australia, and Japan all contributed data. What scientists were really watching for were sudden changes in activity, brightness variations, possible outbursts, changes in the coma structure or tail configuration. So far, early reports suggest the comet remained stable during closest approach, no dramatic outbursts. No fragmentation events, just steady activity as it continues moving away from both Earth and the Sun. NASA's eyes on the Solar System Tracking Tool showed something interesting during and after closest approach. The comet's trajectory held exactly to predictions. Orbital calculations made months ago matched reality almost perfectly. No unexpected deviations, no course corrections needed. This confirms what orbital dynamicists have been saying all along. The non-gravitational acceleration detected earlier was consistent with natural outgassing, not propulsion, and not any deliberate course change. Dr. Davide Farnocchia from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has been refining the trajectory calculations throughout December. After yesterday's closest approach, the uncertainty in the comet's position dropped significantly. We now know with high precision where 3i Atlas is heading next. By spring 2026, it will pass about 0.36 astronomical units from Jupiter, roughly 33 million miles from the gas giant. After that, it climbs out through the outer solar system. 
By the early 2030, it exits the sun's gravitational influence entirely and returns to interstellar space at the same speed it entered, about 58 kilometers per second. Here's the reality scientists are facing now. 3i Atlas is fading, fast. Its current brightness is around magnitude 11 to 12. That's already down from its peak of magnitude 9 to 10 back in November, when it re-emerged from behind the sun. For context, magnitude 6 is the limit of human vision under dark skies. Magnitude 11 requires at least a 30-centimeter telescope. By January 2026, the comet will likely be magnitude 14, or even fainter. That means the observation window is closing rapidly. Professional observatories may have only a few more weeks of useful data collection before the comet becomes too dim for detailed study. Amateur astronomers who want to see it need to act now, this week, next week at the latest. After that, it becomes a professional-only target. The comet is currently moving through the constellation Leo near the bright star Regulus. Pre-dawn hours offer the best viewing window, about two hours before sunrise. One of the most anticipated datasets is still on its way. ESA's Juice spacecraft observed 3I Atlas in early November, shortly after the comet's perihelion passage. The probe used five scientific instruments during a multi-week observation campaign. Janus captured optical images. Magis recorded near-infrared data. UVS gathered ultraviolet spectra. SWI measured submillimeter emissions and PEP detected particles in the surrounding environment. Preliminary preview images showed clear signs of activity, a bright coma with hints of two distinct tails extending from the nucleus. But here's the catch. The full science data won't reach Earth until February 18th and 20th, 2026. Why the delay? JUICE is currently traveling through the inner solar system, relatively close to the sun, the spacecraft is using its large high-gain antenna as a heat shield, protecting sensitive equipment from intense solar radiation. That limits data transmission to the smaller medium-gain antenna, which sends information at a much slower rate. So, scientists are waiting. The observations are already stored on board JUICE. Spectroscopic measurements of the comet's gases, ultraviolet imaging, particle environment data, all waiting to be transmitted. When that data arrives in February, it will provide crucial insight into the comet's composition at peak activity, complementing everything observed during and after the Earth flyby. What's truly remarkable about this flyby is the level of global coordination. NASA assets captured observations from Parker Solar Probe, Hubble, James Webb, TESS, SWIFT, SphereX, Perseverance, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MAVEN, Europa Clipper, Lucy, and Psyche. ESA contributed data from JUICE, Mars Express, ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, and XMM Newton. JAXA provided RISM X-ray observations. Ground observatories from Chile to Japan participated as well. Dr. Emily Kramer, a NASA Comet researcher, called it an extraordinary moment for global science, where every agency contributed something unique. This level of collaboration sets a precedent for future interstellar visitors. And they will come. With the Vera Rubin Observatory now operational in Chile, scientists expect to detect more of these objects in the coming years, possibly several per year once the survey reaches full capacity. So, here's where we are. Less than 24 hours after closest approach, NASA released new Parker Solar Probe footage showing 3I Atlas from October and November. Ground observatories captured the flyby overnight. The trajectory matched predictions perfectly and the comet is now fading as it moves away from both Earth and the Sun. Scientists likely have only a few more weeks of useful observation time before it becomes too dim for detailed study. The JUICE data arrives in February 2026 with the potential to deliver game-changing insight into the comet's composition. This interstellar visitor gave us months of observation opportunities. Now, it's beginning its permanent exit from our solar system. If you found this update helpful, Consider subscribing for more space coverage. A like on the video really helps the algorithm share this with other space enthusiasts. And if you know someone who'd enjoy this, feel free to share it. Thanks for being with me here during this historic flyby. I'll see you in the next one.